Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. What do we have for the sign of Taurus? What do we have for the sign of Taurus? Messages for the sign of Taurus, please. Could be coming into a fresh start here, Taurus. Let's see how it goes. Well, something's ended, so yes. With every ending, there's a new beginning. There's a fresh start here. Kind of feeling betrayed a bit. <clears throat> mm. Eight of Swords. I'm not surprised that that has come up as the challenge we have with the COVID situation, new lockdowns and everything. But, you know, perhaps as far as you're concerned, you're not going to invest any more of yourself into this. There is an offer here, I feel, a message coming through. Yeah. It'll seem sincere enough, but there's the fear factor here. I feel somebody is, wants to communicate in a very, very different way, but hmm. there was a tower moment in the past. Definite ending here, and you're in the middle of kind of picking yourself up. Five of Swords. Wow, a lot of aggravation here. There's, there's no communication whatsoever. What's going on? Mm. Communication in the near future, though. Suddenly. Breaking out of this. Kind of getting breaking free. Kind of getting somebody has been healing here there's been an indecisive mood here wondering what to do there was a, yeah very very surprising developments here something ended very very abruptly and now there's you know kind of this <sighs> unknown factor about it there's mistrust like I say a lot of trust issues here You'll be much more independent, much more independent. I feel is that you're starting to gain your balance. So this person, very kind of materialistic. Very materialistic. Now, if this is on the work front, you could have suddenly have lost your job. But it looks like you're going to get communication coming from somewhere else that will give you a lot more independence, but also a lot more stability. There's a lot of regrets here. Somebody's regretting a lot. Oh, now you've got the king. Queen. Pentacles. Mm. This is you focused on your stability. You know, some goals you've got in your head. You're definitely recovering from this ending. Mm. Orphant. I feel you in the in the future. You're going to get very very busy, balancing things out, making plans. Mm. Wow. Yeah, an ending here. A lot of heartache. But you're healing. You know, you are coming back to your old self. Yeah, two tens here. Wondering what to do. You just had to feel you dropped the burdens. But you've got two tens here, you see. That's a definite shift in energy. That's like the world card. Things may have changed rather abruptly. And very, very painfully. But going forward... This is for the greater good. 
you're coming into a much happier phase in your life. Yeah, somebody here has been very, very insecure about how they feel. There's misgivings about this. Somebody here could open up just how they feel to you, but there's misgivings. Mm. A message coming in from the past very, very abruptly without warning. Somebody here wants to change the situation. They want to heal the situation. It'll give you some kind of a victory in the sense that it'll put the ball in your court and you're the one making the decision. But somebody here is asking for a second chance. They're very, very sorry for all the fighting, for all the anxiety, for all the stress, for everything. But I've got a feeling that you're going to be rather cold towards this person. Yeah. You don't want this communication. It's just disrupting your stability. New opportunity here. Ace of Pentacles. But that gate's open. You don't have to take this. And I've got a feeling with all this going on. Because it's very strong energy. A lot of aggravation here. You just don't want it. As far as you're concerned. I feel it. You feel it's finished. Yeah. Yeah. You've got some certain goals. In a certain direction. That you want to be in. There is kind of a, a spiritual choice here on the sense that this, all this stress and that that you're going through at the moment and coming out of, you're coming out of it very, very nice. And it, it does, it puts the ball in your court. Like I say, creating a very stable position for yourself and then this comes along out of the blue and you kind of say, mm, what do I want to give up all I've worked for? For this, you know, it's kind of like you invested enough into this communication, into this person in the past, and it it just gave you a lot of grief, and yeah, you're moving on, you're moving on. Either way, whatever you decide to do with this, there's a lot of progress here. Chariot, Cancer energy, Taurus energy. Yeah, it's 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 a, there's a lot of open wounds here still with you, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting the last thing you want is, you know, to be dealing with this person from the past. Yeah, you're definitely moving on. You you're definitely getting your karma, sorting the karma out, and moving on. Away from this negativity. I feel here you've just had enough. They're saying please give me one more second chance. And you're saying you know sorry. That's what I'm picking up from most of this. I feel this is one that. Uh, that you're letting go of. For a lot of you. But. As I always say, this is a general read. Take it how it resonates. Your situations will be different. And, of course, it's free will. The choice is yours. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.